Exactly. Good, Claire, you're just looking at what we've just shown there. This is what we do every week. You know, we look at different topics and, and these topics are the things that really matters to us. Mm -hmm. What is your view? Well, it was interesting listening to that gentleman saying uh, what his views about mental health was. And mental health is more than the absence of mental illness. It's exactly what he said was it's good well-being tackling problems. We will all at some stage, it's estimated that one in four people in Ireland each year um, have an episode of mental um, challenge, yes, shall we say. Sure. Mm -hmm. So I think um, what we do as a voluntary organisation in Carlo is promote positive mental health and ways and activities that we can uh, bolster our own selves when we come across these challenges. Yep. Okay. And what are the biggest cha challenges you do face in terms of all, all of this? Well, in, uh, exactly what the gentleman said too, and the lady too, they mentioned relationships, work, uh, lack of money, a lot nowadays in society, all of these issues affect how we feel mentally as well as physically. Um, you know, so, so I think by having a kind of a toolbox that mm. we can use, uh, that's what we're all about as a mental health association down in Carlo, promoting positive mental health and ways that we can keep our mental wellness well. And how can we tackle some of these issues that individual do actually face sometimes you know like i think she mentioned something like you know marriages schools yeah. and your mind has already mentioned some other things so why is all these things number one and how do we manage to kind of deal with these things because like your organization all the way from Cali, you're doing a lot of work yeah. how how are you guys voluntarily putting all of these things into one part okay well we're a voluntary organization but each year we have a week in october that it coincides with world mental health day which is the 10th of october this year yes and we're starting a week of activities promoting positive mental health and that can range from we, we set up a pop-up cafe where people can come in and as an organization we have information and leaflets that we've prepared that we will leave there yes. signposting yes. people to the services that are available okay, okay. so yeah. there are lots of services sometimes people find it difficult to access those services through stigma associated with feeling a bit lower depression mm. like we all know the stigma associated with mental illness True. Uh, so we maintain that by having a very social environment like a coffee shop people can come in and easily uh, pick up some of the leaflets mm. secondly in that uh, week we're having a wellness day on the sunday for family and friends she was talking about children starting in school uh, raising awareness about mental illness or mental health at that stage mm. um, on our sunday in october we're going to have a day it's going to be like a soothing sunday so we're having tai chi yoga, wow. mindfulness, walks, things like that, activities, mm. eating well, all that kind of very basic, but reminders that we all need to be reminded how to look after our mental health. That's very good, yeah. very good. Is so that one wonderful, wonderful <laughs> guys? Yeah, that's yeah. good, yeah. Now, just looking at you guys from, um, you know, the Kalu, the old Kalu, you know, organization, yes. community, you guys are doing a lot, a lot, a lot of things happening there. So how, in terms of this kind of issue, what are the areas you are dealing with or the, you know, uh, people will kind of get caught in all okay. of this? How, how do we're you... not actually a service provider. Because we're a voluntary organisation, we don't provide a service. All the work that we do is done voluntary and we have a very good committee of about 16 people that may well work within the sector, but they're bringing their expertise onto our committee. Mm. So as a result, we can be guided by them as regards what's needed within a society. But as regards funding for us, uh, you know, people locally would, would fundraise. But um, we provide the service, we don't, we, we don't provide a service, we provide information and we signpost people to mm. the services that are available through wellness boards that we um, put up outside uh, GA clubs, okay. different, you know, so people have yeah. it in the library as well, we've got a wellness board outside that um, identifies all the different services like MABS, AWARE, the Samaritans, all those very important phone numbers and websites that people need to look after their mental health. Great. And we look at the pro -promo promotion side, uh, which she mentioned as well, mm. like a lot more pro promotion um, needs to, to be done in terms of this. And I believe um, we have the uh, more does that as well. She looks after the pro -promo Absolutely. promotion. Absolutely. Like all of these brochures that we have designed and put together, we have we've had to pay for. Yes. So Maura, who your next guest is going to be, yes. has decided to do some fundraising for us. We find that local... Um, 
groups within Carlow Town and County come to us and say, like the golf club last year came forward and presented us with a cheque that they had run something themselves. Wow, so that's, that's how good. we um, have our funding. The coffee shop also during Mental Health Week, that provides a certain amount of money that we then put back into providing leaflets and information. That's good. That's good. Yeah. We're just going to hold it there. Let's bring uh, Mara in on the show. Please give it up one more time for Mara on the show. And like, Hello, Mara. Uh, was just How are you? about the promotional aspect. You know, can you kind of give us more details about how you look after the pr promotional aspect of this awareness, the campaign and the rest? Well, just to follow up on what Claire said, we have wellness boards outside a lot of sporting clubs in the county. We also ran, um, and hello, Carlo, how are you day in May, mm. but basically encouraged people to stop and engage with their friends, families, neighbours, just to say, hello, how are you, but to actually engage with the person instead of hello and keep walking. And we got very positive feedback from that. Mm. So we had an information stand in the local shopping centre, we had badges, we had information cards, and we're hoping that each year that we'll be able to do the same kind of thing. Uh, just like with Minsana, it's our fifth year of Minsana this year, and we're yeah. hoping that each year it will get bigger and better once the awareness is out there. Um, like as, as Claire said as well, just following up that we're, we're not a fundraising organisation, but I've decided, I'm new on the committee and I'm quite passionate about the cause. Yeah. So I've decided to take part in a trek to the Grand Canyon in October of this mm. year. And while it's not just about fundraising, I'm hoping that it will raise awareness for the presence of the association. Um, I'm using Twitter, Facebook, local, the local media newspapers, the radio, just to get the word out there that we have a Carlow Mental Health Association committee. It's also coinciding with the end of our Minsana week. Okay. So I'm hoping that the build up to Minsana will also help with the trek as well. Right. And it's just it's just to let people know that, you know, the organization is there. Mm. While we're not a service provider, we will be able to point people in the right direction. Right. This is just a general question just for me personally, mm. right? What would be your encouragement? Why do you decide to do these things voluntarily? You know, no pay, no pay wages is there, no nothing is there. Yeah. Why did you decide okay. to do it? I'll tell you why I decided. Um, many years ago, I was a nurse and then I went into complementary health promotion in the sense that I do massage and reflexology and things like that. And I suppose through meeting people as clients in, in recent years, a lot of the time I can help them on a physical level through massage or reflexology with their pains, aches, whatever. But as regards the mental turmoil that people sometimes go through, I felt I was at a little bit of a loss. Mm. And as a result, I knew that we had a local mental health association and I felt that by joining that, I could then add extra value to the service that I provide as a holistic therapist, you know, from a, a mental perspective. If people are suffering with depression or low mood or just stress in general, True. I felt that I could um, signpost them in the right direction if they needed extra help that I personally couldn't give them. Mm. And um, it, that, it's been fantastic for me. Then you get into it and you get you make friends on the committee <laughs> and it, it's a true. lot of fun. Like we have great, it's not very, well, it is very serious. It's a very serious issue, but mm. we, we have a, a lighter side to it and, and we have great fun. That's yeah. true. Yeah. And how would you give a testimony based on what you've done in your community in this area of fear? How can you give any test testimony about people who you might okay. have helped, support, some way, somehow? Okay, well, we're, we're all about raising awareness. True. And five or six years ago, this was just in its infancy, whereas now going around Carlo talking about mental health, people are aware of men Mensana Fest. They, sure. they, they're waiting for us. They know it's coming up again. Mm. So that, to me, means that we've done a good job as regards... We've raised a lot of awareness where people are waiting for the week to come and they're looking forward to the workshops that we're going to provide and the information and the talks that come with it. So that's really for me, it's, it's on everybody's lips and um, that's good enough for that's me. That's good. Um, uh, Maura, can I just go back to you a little bit? I, I just like the way you mentioned our name. Hello, Carlo, how, how are, are you? you? <laughs> how did you give that our name? Come on, talk to us about that. <laughs> Um, it, it was pretty easy. <laughs> we, uh, we, it's a catchy word. The, the idea. Is that a catchy word, buddy? Come on, give it a little applause. Oh. <laughs> That's a very catchy. So, how did you implement that? Um, well, we decided that we wanted to do. We decided we wanted to do a day where people would engage with each other. And um, hello basically stands for you know 
engaging with people, sure. listening, and the O stands for ongoing. So while you say to someone, hello, how are you? That you follow up maybe the next day. You know, okay. maybe one day they're not feeling so good. And the next day then, you, it's an ongoing kind of a thing. It's not right. just a one day. Very so good. you can follow up with the person and say, well, how are you today? Honestly, it's very catchy. Yeah, and absolutely. it's catchy. It's catchy. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming on the show. Please give it up one more time for Claire. Yeah, thank you. And give it up one more time for Maura. Thank you very much. Just before you go, have your website, people can find you. Absolutely. And can yes, the website is there. And... Um, Okay. You can perhaps display it at the end of the program. Sure, yeah. we'll definitely do that. that so stay tuned, we'll be right back. Okay. So if you're at home, stay tuned, we'll be right back after this. As Miss Irish Art, Chanel Mara will be joining us later on the show. So we'll be right back after this. Thank you. One more time, please. Thank you. Yeah.